everybody having a wonderful day so far. Yay! Lovely. Allow us to introduce ourselves. I am Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, and this is my loyal assistant, Beaker. Hi, Beaker. Also with us are our intrepid interns. Let's have a hand for Newton and Einstein. <laughs> Labs where for many years I've created inventions to make everyone's life easier, right Beaker? We've been invited by Mr. Mickey Mouse himself to share some of the groundbreaking work going on at Bucket Labs and to get you excited about science. Is everybody excited about science? Let me hear you! So to bring the thrill of the lab directly to you, I've invented this most remarkable vehicle. Introducing the Muppet Mobile Lab! Oh, I know, isn't science fun? As ambassadors of science, we want to encourage you to make the world a better place with your good ideas. Let me give you an example. I see, uh, not a lot. Oh, we have someone wearing pants today. Yes, uh, you there wearing pants? Do you enjoy wearing pants? Yeah, right? Okay. I love You're wearing sure. pants too. <laughs> In fact, pants lovers everywhere will appreciate the benefits of my recent breakthrough, Puppet Lab's self-heating pants! Earlier today, I sent the speakers regulation tri lab trousers for these new prototype pants. He's wearing them right now! Oh, relax, Beaky, they're perfectly safe. After all, I invented them. Now, with just one pull of this lever, Beaker will literally be in the hot seat. Let's see. We got, uh, we'll start with the Toe Toaster. Paper clips. Who could forget the banana sharpener? What about all these new friends here? You just met Beaker. You don't want him to leave now, do you? Let's hear it. Come on, Beaker. Come on, Beaker. Well, Beaker, you certainly have made your position clear. I just want you to know you could never be replaced. All right, let's find a replacement for Beaker. Beaker, I can't do these experiments by myself now, can I? I'm sorry, Beaky, I need to find a replacement for you. It is just that simple. Now, folks, in order to find a new lab assistant, we need willing volunteers for the job. Only the brightest and smartest please need apply. If you have what it takes, raise your hand. We already have a volunteer. Very nice, Einstein. Come on down, miss. Hello there, ma'am. Nice to meet you. And what is your name, please? It's Judy. Judy, very nice. Woo! And uh, where are you from, Judy? Texas. Ah, Woo! yes, Texas. Yay! Where the brightest of the bright live. So, Judy, you have had good ideas before, right? Once in a while. I knew that you had a few. Yes, yes, I can hear it in your voice, Judy. Now, we're going to see what brilliant ideas you have swimming around in your head. To do this, we will use the newest invention, introducing... The Cerebellatron! Cerebellatron. When this device is aimed directly at the cranium, it can translate a person's thoughts into words. Now, uh, Judy, right? Judy, uh, place your hands to the sides of your head, please. And concentrate. Now, let's see what Judy is really thinking. Gee, I find Beaker strangely attractive. Well, we'll certainly give you a call when we study chemistry, Judy. Thank you. Thank you for applying. Moving on. Let's give Judy a round of applause for helping us out. Thank you so much, Judy. 
Well done, well done. Now, uh, we're going to get a gentleman this time, Einstein. Raise your hand if you are a gentleman who's willing to volunteer for the role. We need more. Got one over there? Got one right here. Excellent. Hello there, sir. A brave volunteer. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. I, I see you brought your own shade on top of your head. Very nice. What is your name, please? My name's Ed. Your name is Ed? Yes, sir. Excellent. Now we're going Woo! to find out what scientific thoughts you have in your mind there, Ed. Go ahead and place your hands to your head, and here we go. Uh, I have no idea where I parked the car. <laughs> well, that's easy, Ed. Just try your key in every lock and until it opens the door. Good luck! Moving on! Thank you, Ed. <laughs> Well done, sir. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Well, you know what, this time I think we need to go with a young person. Are any young people here want to volunteer? Well, would raise your hand so Einstein can spot you. We've got one already? Fantastic. Hello there. Nice to meet you, sir. I see by your hat you are the droid we are looking for. And what is your name, please? Liam. Liam! Liam, do you consider yourself the sharpest student in your school? Yes. Excellent! I felt the same way growing up, Liam. And how old are you, please? I'm 11. 11, well done. Now, uh, just place your hands on your head, Liam, and we're going to find out what is on the mind of the average 11 year old. The distance between the center of the Earth to the center of the moon is 384,403 kilometers. We have a winner! I think you're smarter than I am. I'd have to be your assistant. Oh dear, that won't work. Well, uh, let's give a hand for our assistants, uh, volunteers, Liam and Ed and Judy. Well done, all of you. Thank you for helping us out, Liam. Thank you so much. We'll continue the search for Beaker's replacement later, but first let's proceed to our final invention. What's that, Beaker? No, you cannot go ride Spaceship Earth because our remaining time together may be short, but we are still on a mission to make science fun. Okay. How many of you fine folks have taken a ride in an automobile and gotten stuck in traffic? Very vast minority of you. Okay, well, that's fine. It is frustrating, though, isn't it, getting stuck in traffic? Yeah. Well, we at Muppet Labs can make the headache of traffic disappear with our new invention, the Auto Floater! With this instant hot air balloon in place, your automobile will soar over all the others. Oh, Vicky, don't be frightened. I'll be with you the entire trip. You will not go it alone. He's a scared of heights. All right, everybody, wave goodbye as I pull this lever to the enormous hot air balloon. My happy face airbag. Uh, it's fine, Vicky. I remember now. It's this one here. Oh. oh, that is the V6 turbo paper shredder. There went your paycheck, Beaker. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Here we are. Got it. All right. We're about to launch a little traveling music.